Hello, Phil Smile here. Surprise, surprise. This video is a tutorial explaining how to install Reshade and get it working with Cliffs of Dover on Windows 10. I used to use um, Inject FX on my old uh, Windows 7 install, but since upgrading to Windows 10, Inject FX no longer works for me. I have an NVIDIA graphics uh, GPU set up, by the way. So now I run Reshade, and Reshade is a similar tool. I'm just going to show you what it does. So we're currently in game, and if I press the scroll lock button, which I just did, you see it's turned off. This is what the game normally looks like. It's relatively bland color wise, it's still pretty decent. But with Reshade, you can just enhance all the saturation and the colors just a little bit. So I've just turned it on. Don't know if that was visible. Let's try and zoom in on the aircraft a little bit. Off. Just washes it out a bit pale. And then on. All the colors are just a bit richer. I prefer the way the game looks with Reshade turned on. It also has some small anti-aliasing um, functionality. And it can actually provide you with a depth of field um, mod as well. It's quite good for making cinematic... Um, shots with Cliffs of Dover and it just makes things feel a little bit richer visually you may suffer a slight loss of ability to pick out dots at long range I find that when I turn it off I can see dots just a little bit further away so your situational awareness might suffer marginally but I'm happy to take that hit because I think it just makes the game look a whole lot nicer in order to um, show you how this is installed and got to work, I'm going to provide a link to the Storm of War website which contains a few sublinks. Those sublinks will provide you with access to the files and to a thread on ATAG where this preset is discussed. So if you need more help, click on the Storm of War link and then all the other necessarily li necessary links will be provided for you. That said, Let's get cracking and see exactly how we download and install this lovely little application. Now, in order to install Reshade, there are two things you're going to need. You're going to need to download a copy of Reshade itself. And secondly, you're going to need to install a preset that you can use with Cliffs of Dover. The first link inside the Storm of War link will take you to the ATAG website and specifically this thread, the reshade thread provided by Kelso. And if you scroll down through Kelso's thread, you'll notice that he has uh, two presets and he provides a link to them. So let's click on his link. The link I recommend is the um, Enhanced, Reshade Enhanced, which was developed in May of 2016. So click on there. And this will give you the zip file of his reshade preset. So download that. It's very small. Shove it in your downloads folder for now. We'll come back to that one. The second link you need is to download the reshade software itself. I use version 2.03 and you get to version 2.03 by going to reshade.me scrolling down and then you've got the reshade framework 2.0 the 3.0 is still in beta and as far as i'm aware um, it may have problems with clips but i know that the 2.0 framework works and the 2.0.3 it's the same version that I'm running. So download that as well. Once you have those two zip files downloaded, I just made a new folder called Reshade. 
and it's just on my E drive. So I just made a folder called Reshade, and inside that folder, I copied the Reshade zip file. And you can extract that straight into your Reshade folder. And that gives you these two exe files, the assistant and the assistant preview. Now, you need to stick the profile that you downloaded from Kelso. Uh, when you extract the Reshade program, it will create this subfolder, also called Reshade. And then within there are this presets folder. The presets folder is where you should copy the preset from Kelso and then just extract that into this location. So I've got it in its own folder called clod underscore ENH, and there it is. Those are all the files that the preset from Kelso uses. So I've got the reshade program in its own folder, and then I've saved the preset in its own folder under the presets subfolder. So now comes the last part where we actually load reshade and we tell it to assign the preset when Cliffs of Dover is running. So open the reshade assistant exe file and that will bring up this small black interface. Now it's actually a really cool interface. It's got these vertical panels and each vertical panel represents um, another functionality. It's quite nice as opposed to having horizontal tabs. Anyway, um, interface aside, which is good, what you need to do is press the plus button up here and navigate to where you have Cliffs of Dover installed. Select the launcher.exe and then hit open. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it twice. And that will place the launcher inside this profiles box. So basically, you should now have default and launcher. Now highlight launcher, simply left click on, left -click on launcher, it'll go orange. And then select the presets tab. So I've highlighted launcher and I've clicked on the presets tab. And now I can import one of those presets. So I click plus, I add the preset name, Claude, whoops, Claude Enhanced or whatever I want to use. Hit enter. Now that name there should be exactly the same, the name that I select should be exactly the same as the name of the folder where I saved the preset earlier. Okay, so let's go back to that preset under reshade presets. There's the name C L O D underscore E N H. Same syntax. And it's in the um, zip name too, in case you forget. Just make sure the syntax and the name is exactly the same. And there, that's actually the one there. So I need, I'm going to delete this one. I'm just going to minus it. Clod enhanced. That's the preset I have assigned to the launcher. Launcher is highlighted, preset. Let's go to the presets. Clod Enhance is highlighted. Now I click Save and then Confirm. So there we go. That's all there is to it. That is how you install Reshade. Select the preset you want to use. And now you can close Reshade like that. And every time you run Cliffs of Dover, Reshade should automatically know to turn the preset on.